Okay, so these next mnemonics I'm going to talk about are related to your cranial nerves. So you got your 12 cranial nerves, and things that you'll have to remember for your exams, not only are the actual names of the nerves, but also if they're sensory, motor, or both. So, and just as a little word of encouragement for you, this is a lot of information to memorize. It really is. And just learning the brain and, and, and what everything does and the lobes and the nerves and the everything. And I'm a neuro ICU nurse, and I actually have a badge insert where I have everything written down, you know, the various nerves, um, the lobes, the sides of the brain, what things do what, because it's so much information to try to remember, and it's very overwhelming. So sometimes you'll have patients that are presenting with various symptoms, and it's like, wait, what cranial nerve does that do again? And then you could just pull out your badge and look at it. That way you're not totally overwhelmed. I mean, it's really important to remember this stuff for your exams and whatnot, but when you get out into the real nursing world, um, knowing all this stuff at the drop of a hat, it's, it's not necessarily always realistic. Um, it's definitely something you want to know and definitely want to be able to find out. Um, but I just want to encourage you, you know, if you're not, if you don't, if you graduate and you start your first day and you're like, oh, I don't know the 12 cranial nerves in and out, like, it's okay. You'll get there and, and have it written on something you can easily access. And um, that's why I like having things on my badge. I can take a peek at it. And I always have it with me, and it's not like I'm pulling out my phone in front of family members or something to try and look up something. So that's my little, you know, pro tip. All right, so cranial nerves, the mnemonics. So let me just say what the, the cranial nerves are first. So you've got the olfactory, the optic.